Shalom. First and foremost, Wahala Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, Bashem Rakwa Kadash, the blondest to the other apostles, the great millstone that rule well. Peace and salutation to all the Yakim out there on the highways and byways, noise in this road abroad all around the world. Now, I want to get into the reality check, you know, because all we've been saying for years, you know, concerning prophecy, you know, current events, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has now manifested itself. You know, you, you see how you see how the world is in so much turmoil and so much, you know, anguish right now. Because of the way this world is being ruled. You know, the people, the leader that's running this place, that's ruling this place, you know, just sucks. You know? Why? Because the leader sucks. You know, the people that are the, the elites, the people that are running this earth, they suck. You know, and they're, they're not they're not doing a good job at ruling and governing this earth as it should be. Why? Because they're not following the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, you know, which they claimed, you know, according to their Federal Reserve note, in God we trust, but they're not doing it. So this is why you have these uproars, you know, you have people, you know, uprising against their system, you know, against the, the system. Because it, it just doesn't work, you know, it just doesn't work. You know, it, this the system, this place, you know, the, the way it's run, it, it is, it's not working, you know. That's why it needs to be removed and be, you know, the system needs to be renewed. Under a righteous system, under a holy system, you know. Which our Lord Yahweh Shai is coming to bring upon this earth real soon. So, let me get into um, Isaiah chapter 24, verse um, 2, and it reads, And it shall be as with the people, so with his priests, as with the servants, so with his master, as with the maid, so with her mistress, as with the buyer, so with the seller, as with the lender, so with the borrower, as with the taker of usury, so with the givers of usury to him, you know. This is what you're having upon this earth, you know, because, you know, you got the so-called white man, you know, he, he's the lender, you know, but the thing is, he's doing it unrighteously because he's adding usury to the money that he's lending, you know, which is against the, which is contrary to, um, to the law, you know, it's contrary to, um, lend money with interest attached to it, you know. But this is what the so-called white man is doing, and this is why people just can't take it or take it anymore. Because when you're constantly just slapping taxes and taxes and taxes upon people, you know, and adding usury to it, you know, it's just you know, it's just, it's it's just not sustainable. You know, it just it, it just doesn't work. But um, reading on verse three. The land shall be utterly emptied and utterly spoiled, for the Lord has spoken this word. Verse 4, the earth mourneth and fadeth away, and the, and languish and the languish and fadeth away, and the haughty people of the earth do languish. You know, this is what you're having right now. The earth is mourning and it's fading away. Why? Why is the earth mourning? Because, like I said, this, this devil, the so-called Edomite, the so-called white man, this Edomite, the so-called white man, is not following the laws, you know. Because you got something, and there is in the, in the law called this a land Sabbath, where you work the land for six years and you let, him, and you let the land rest on the seventh, you know, to kind of to replenish yourself. What the so-called white man do is he constantly, he's just constantly working the land, 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 and not giving, and not giving the land to rest. Because the earth, you know, this earth that we live on, you know, this planet earth is sacred, you know. Everything that we do in this earth is sacred, you know. 
And when the Most High gives these laws, statutes, and commandments for us, us to follow, it's sacred, you know? It's how the earth shall um, perform in the right way, on the, how it's governed under these laws. But, like, again, like I say, you know, the so-called white man is just not doing it. That's why the earth is mourning, and that's why the earth is given such a negative reaction, you know? The earth is putting out forth that negative reaction because <laughs> you have negative people that are not doing this properly, that are not running this earth properly like it was given to us, you know? Let me read, and the people of the earth do language, you know? And you see in the people of the earth language, because you see these the people of the earth uprising against their system, uprising against their government, and millions upon millions of people out there, you know, situations in China, you know? You got millions of people out there in the streets, you know, throwing cocktail bombs at the police, at the riot police people, you know. They just riot, and it's been and it's been a month since they've been out there, you know. And eventually, it's gonna end up coming over here to America because this is the last place that's gonna get hit, you know. Is it, eventually, you're gonna see mass people. Millions of people taking it to the streets here in America real soon, even though, you know, it's just quiet right now. But w beneath that surface, you know, there's something brewing beneath that surface, you know. There's something brewing up beneath that surface. And that's what the people don't see, you know. It's just like I made that analogy about the iceberg, you know. You just see that iceberg at the top. You just see an iceberg just, you know, there, but what you don't see is that what's beneath the iceberg, you know? You don't see what's beneath that surface of that iceberg, you know? And that's what the people don't see. They 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 haven't realized or woken up to the fact, you know? And when, you know, the brothers, you know, the you know, the brothers all over the world, uh, starting with the head apostle, elder head apostles on down, we've been telling you this for years. We've been telling you what's beneath the surface, you know? And what's beneath that surface? Martial law, concentration camps, the famine, the destruction, you know, the money system, you know, getting getting totally destroyed, you know, the dollar totally collapsing, you know, the system collapsing, the infrastructure collapsing, you know. This is what the people don't see with beneath the surface, you know. They don't see this with beneath the surface the surface they don't see the upcoming event that's going to take place you know such as a false flag whether it be through an emp you know whether it be with them cutting the power because eventually they're going to end up cutting the power you know they're going to end up shutting down the power whether it's through the emp or just you know or through a natural disaster because this devil he has something called the harp you know the program that can manipulate the elements that could cause a reaction, you know, from the sun, you know, a solo system from the sun, or that could cause an or earthquake, you know. So this devil has that technology and has that power to do that, you know. So this is what the people don't see with beneath the surface. This is what they can't grasp. You know, all, all they could see is that, you know, they could just, you know, go wake up and go to work, you know, make money, have sex. You know, get food, you know, s you know, spend money. And they just repeat that daily routine, you know, year after year, you know. Because they don't see any any other, you know, destruction that's a upon them. They don't see what's upon the horizon. They don't see what beneath that surface, you know. But this is what we're telling them, and they're looking at us like we're crazy, but... <laughs> When it does happen, when it does take place, that's when they're going to want to search for, especially our people. That's when they're going to want to search and find answers, but we're not going to be around, you know. The Most High is going to have us hidden in those days, you know. So, re so reading on, you know, 
So those uproars, those uproars and rising of the people that's happening outside overseas and outside of America, eventually they're going to come over here in this land. They're going to, uh, them same situations and them same uproars of the people are going to come here in America. And this is what the people don't understand. This is they don't think that th they don't think that this place could be touched. But the Most High has a surprise for them. So reading on. Verse five. So the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the law, changed the ordinance, and broken the everlasting covenant. There you go. You see, that's why the earth is in the situation that it is in, because the earth is. The followed under the inhabitants thereof. Look at what you have in um in the ocean. You have plastic upon plastic and upon plastic in the ocean, polluting the um polluting the waters. This is why you have these fishes, you know, these whales and all these dolphins, you know, beaching themselves, you know, because the the water is polluted, you know, the ocean is polluted. And you got the crabs, you got them fishing out the crabs and all these, these oysters and all these mu mussels, you know. You know, these oysters, these crabs, these, sh these shrimps and these lobsters that are made to be in the water, you know, to keep the, to, to keep the ocean clean. You got these devils fishing them out and constantly eating them. You got people eating things that we're not supposed to be eating. We're not supposed to be eating crabs. We're not supposed to be eating lobster, shrimp. You know, octopus or mussels, you know, or these shellfishes or these oysters or these clams. You know, we're not supposed to be eating these things. You know, the law, the law states that if anything that doesn't have skills or things, then you should not eat. It shall be an abomination unto you. But whatever has skills or things in the waters and the rivers and the oceans, you know, that you may eat. This is what it says in the law, but the, this devil, he doesn't follow that. You know, he's constantly fishing out these things, fishing um these these <laughs> these things out, and then treating it as it's a delicacy, as it's as if it's lawful to eat when it's when when it clearly says in the law that these things are not lawful for the, to eat. You know, these things were designed to keep the ocean clean. You know. These creatures that were created were designed to keep the ocean clean. You know, that's why they're called bottom feeders. You know, that's why if you notice when you eat these um, crabs, you eat these lobsters, that you, 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 your stomach is just, <laughs> is just hell, you know. Then you have, you have the worst, smelliest farts, you know, it's just, you know, that's an indication that, you know, these things aren't clean to eat. These things are not clean. They are clean. And this is why you have the situation that's going on in the ocean right now, that the water's not clean, because the water's not being clean, because these devils are fishing out the very same things that, are, that were designed, the very same creatures that were designed to keep the ocean clean and eating them, you know? And thereof, because they have transgressed the law, yeah, they have transgressed the law, you know? They've broken the law. And changed the ordinance and broken the everlasting covenant. This is what this devil has done, you know. This is what this devil has done. And this is why this devil needs to be removed off of the face of the earth. Out of rulership. He needs to be banished from rulership forever. You know. This is why this Edomite, this devil, the so-called white man, needs to be banished from rulership forever. He has no business ruling this earth. He has no business running this, this earth. This is why this devil has to be banished from rulership. He has to be banished out of power. Because he's not following or keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. As prescribed for us to keep, you know, through Moses, you know. Even though the even though the law was given to us, you know, we're in this captivity because we broke in the law. You know, we didn't keep the law, so that's why we gotta pay for our sins right now under this devil. But this devil here, you know. He claims that, you know, the the Bible is the law of the land, but he says one thing then does does the the exact opposite. That's why it says in the book of Psalms fifty verse sixteen, unto the wicked the most I saying, What has thou to do to declare my statutes? Or to take 
my covenant into thy mouth. Seeing thou hateth instruction, you know, he hates instruction. You know, he doesn't want to follow the instructions of the, of the law, statutes, and commandments. He doesn't want to follow that. He wants to set up his, his own way or his own law, you know, which his own way and his own law don't work, you know. It clearly doesn't work. So, this is what's going to happen. Therefore, have the curse devoured the whole. Therefore, has the curse devoured the earth. You know, that's why the earth is under a big fat curse right now. Because, you know, the laws are not being kept in this land, in this earth. And they that dwell therein are desolate. And, and therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned up and few men left. You know, this is why the Most High is going to allow these thermonuclear missiles to come and hit this earth you know especially um here in america you know because this is the power seat this is the ham of the earth you know if you want to take something out you know if you want to take out the cause of the problem you go to the root you know and america is the root of the problem america is the root of why the earth is in the current condition that it is right now because of the people that's ruling this earth you know so the most high is about to uproot this uproot this curse and then uproot this problem, you know, from the earth. Which is the rulership of so called white man. You know. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned up and few men left. You know, who are those few men? The elect men. The elect men of the nation of Israel. Those are the men that are gonna be left, you know. Those are the men that are gonna. Those are the men that are gonna be left. That's gonna be delivered up out of this land, you know, aka America, you know. And those are gonna be the men, the elect men of the nation of Israel, under our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, to replenish this earth and to rebuild this earth in righteousness, you know. So with that, you know. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rukwak Kodash, the modesty that apostles of great millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to the Yakim out there on the highways and byways that's doing doing this work and those who's right abroad. So with that, I want to say Shalom.